Thank you for joining me for my next featured artist, Valentine McLean. He's a craft artist. I hope you enjoy the interview. In addition to the woodwork, you do metal work. Yeah, yeah. Chasing and repose. Chasing and repose. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's um, carving into metal. Where you push with a special tool. Special tool. So you sh- um, so what's happening the image will come to the other side. Okay. Yeah, man. So I would have to show you something so you can have an idea. I want to see that, yeah. So I was talking to your dad about um his collection and all that but he's just beaming whenever he talks about you and your stuff because not necessarily because you're somebody's child you're going to pick up on you know the same artistic traits but it's really cool that both you and your dad have this talent and your stuff is like i feel like it can go with anybody any style traditional species yeah you know we walk the beach we go in the forest and we find stuff and paint our beautiful and tambourine wood oh yeah. yes like these I are see the tambourine it. pieces and as you can see the, the, the design is as natural as it is it takes like two to three years to get this design in it some people say oh it really look like the globe and it looks like a natural heart shape too, yeah. which well, is so yes, interesting. Yes, you, you cut the wood as it is, so you don't change. Maybe it's something you're trying to stick to the, what you see. Yeah. So we're going to collect sea glass. And this is just one shell? Um, no, this is actually the, the full horn. Wow. Yes. So when you know the, um, the natural uh, full horn is so... When it when um, ever the cow is killed and we connect the both horns and turn them to nice jewelry, so you have to go through a process because the bull horn is raw and hold up, it's just in your arm here. Is is the 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 artist of the artist? So hold up. What what um? Where should I continue from now? The bull horn pieces. I mean, you get the horn. From oh, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, raw. yeah. We well, um, get from the what do you call it? Arbiter. Yeah. Our slaughterhouse. So sometimes they're not in good condition. The stomach is very strong. Uh-huh. After strong, so collect it, wash it with fresh water, then boil it. Uh, boil it, yeah, and then put the salt water, then put them to dry, then you rinse it off with fresh water again. Then bleach and water and brush to get out all That's the water. That's a whole process. Oh, a lot of process. Get yeah. to yes. this. Mm-hmm. And then you know, after that now, you so clean it, cut it, cut it with an axe or a bansa, whatever machine you have to cut. Normally I use a bansa when I have access to one. Or I use axe. Then now you heat it over a fire and flatten it get it like that. And then you have to also polish it. Yeah, in sun, in sand, in the sun, with like five, six grade of sandpaper to get it smooth, then you polish it. Wow. Luckily for me, you know, why it's easier for me to get the um, machine on it to polish. I did five years part-time and hit them on the college back then. So, it's all so you're prepared for that? Oh, mercy. <laughs> well, the thing, you know, when I left hit them on it, I couldn't afford equipment material tool so i said no let me since i have the, the, the no how to sand and polish i start using natural material like color brush coconut cohan bone wood and see here that is very smart yeah you listen because i couldn't spend five years and then come back out and jump into a nine to five for life no this so. is my life yes and i enjoy doing this it's a full joy. Yeah, you know. And then using these materials, it helps to keep your costs down too. Yes, yeah, yeah man, definitely, definitely. It's a goal to make something out of gold right now. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. And with these are the coconut shell pieces. Oh, yes. They see how different they are. So these are the natural form, and then we did the design, so right? Just burning it with a rotary tool. Every now and then, so okay. it's not like a huge yeah. one. Yeah, 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 man, yeah, man. I know you, you edit your thing and get it for you. Yeah. So e- even these color wash bags now. Um, like this one, this one goes between limbs and the tree. Yeah. Yeah. This one now, I just put a piece of um, wood. 
and I just cover it with a piece of rubber. Okay. And you just chop it onto the calabash while it's young. So go between two, the two makeshift thing I made. So you get a piece so of So you wood. literally grow it into shape? Yes, yes into shape. Wow. Yeah. And it, it's not me just get up and do it, it's nature. I saw it. But you're working tree. with nature? Yes. And I said, well, if the tree can do it like this, let me try. And also I plant like over 100 Calabas trees on Mona Road. You planted the trees? Yes, on Mona Road back in the 90s. And after a while, people just start cutting them down. One person said to him, oh, why are you turning the place into forest? We need trees. Oh, mercy. But, this when but now, now know, they want to plant back all those trees that they're cutting yes. down, don't it? But it's not just just lay them on a road after it too because when, while, while they were wide in um, Mona Road at um, Blue Castle Drive I had some on the left hand side going up and they just bulldoze on everything so if they bulldoze, if they dig it up and plant it somewhere I would feel much better yeah, yeah but, but they don't do that they don't they don't think about it no, and now no, they have no. to plant all the trees yes. back yes mm -hmm. We work in the hall to our local material. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, broken china pieces now. China to burn up. These pieces are earrings are broken china. You find them all over Jamaica. And some of those days you from, I can't say exactly. I didn't do a, 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 a check for you knowing if these are from the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. How do you find these? All right. Where people used to live like way back in the days. And people move now when rain falls. What happened now? Topsail wash, wash away, and they just expose. I will go there with a little, a little park, and you just scrape, you little sieve. Like your sieve. own excavation. Yes, and you just found some serious pieces. So these are the earrings. Um, some pieces are found like downtown, Central and Grand Park. While they were doing a water feature down, down there, they were digging this. They were digging the whole place to do whatever they do to make the water feature. So I found some serious pieces with some of the beer. Like even um, this. Yeah. This is a piece of like a, a head of a neck of a jar. Yeah. So I'm not just selling a piece of jewelry, I'm selling a piece of our history. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, man. And this this now is the next piece that they, they, they lit up the leader for um jar. That looks like it could have been some kind of makeup for yes. a woman or something. Yeah, you are. Right. Yeah, so then it's just a cover. Like the whole yeah. cover for jar. Yeah. Oh. I'll sand it down to get it uh, finished like this. Yeah. These are some of the broken china pieces. And these are also. That's history, right? There. Yes, a lot of history. These people made in Jamaica, they come from all over the world. Back in the days when food was real and natural. This piece is from St. William's Grand Park, I can remember this piece. Thanks once again for watching another one of my interviews with artist Valentine McLean. If you have any suggestions on content that you'd like to see me do, please leave it in the comments. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow for more.